on this segment, as, as has been advertised, we are going to be focusing to a large extent on the agricultural sector. Um, and uh, we are looking at it in, in a very serious way. Um, and we are hoping to have your participation, of course, um, in it. Agriculture has become more critical. It has always been critical, of course, severely neglected. But now critical, more critical than ever, because as um, the revenue from, from the energy the sector, a sector has, has declined, and permanently so, and reserves are also dwindling, and foreign exchange becomes a critical issue. Um, we agriculture has a role to play from two aspects really on this issue. It can become an earner of foreign exchange, and it can also help to dampen the use of foreign exchange. If we are to consume more more, more local products, we are to eat more local food. Um, we could reduce the significant import bill and I see a, um, a headline on, 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 on it this morning as well in the Guardian but as we said we are going to have in the studio a young farmer he hasn't yet arrived and of course president of the Farmers Association um, someone who is well known to our listening audience Mr. Shiraz Khan himself and he is here already and let's say good afternoon to Shiraz Pleasant afternoon to you, Mr. Maharaj, and um, to all of you. Rajali, um, of course. Rajali, and um, uh, John is John, John is going to be here in a while, yeah. Okay, um, because he called all day on. Um, thanks for having me here. As usual, it's always a pleasure to be here and to share our views. Okay. And, um, uh, as you said, it is a very critical, but how much people, um, especially the authorities and the people who can change the policies, thinking that um, what you are saying is a fact. Right. What, what are your concerns about the authorities, well, primarily? Well, well, Mr. Maharaj, if you go back, and I can bring, um, I can fully stable here with budget um, presentation and proposals. Um, I've been in the in the leadership of um, in the farming community for more than 30 years. Uh -huh. And um, uh, since 1985, when we had that big problem where, where we had a strike camp, I don't know if you could recall when the Farmers Cooperative Society at that time, Mr. Madre and all of us, they had a, a camp because we were suffering so much in 1985 in agriculture that we were marching through the country for, for food. And, um, and so on, and we saw the, the degradation of the central marketing agency. And we also saw um, the, the demolition of one of the most modern um, agro-processing um, place in, 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 in Arima that was... What was it producing? What meat processors, meat processors, they were processing all the meats, all different types of meats, yeah. processing our animals that we, we um, grow. They were buying it as CME and, and processing it. And, and then sell it back to the Why market. was it shut down? Um, um, it, it was shut down under the NAR, which mm. was a great injustice to the farming community. That was a government, um, a this, government, yeah, yeah, company, yeah, company, yeah. And um, it was shut down together with the CME because once the CME closed down, they didn't have need for that processing plant. Mm -hmm. And um, I always make a joke about that plant. That plant was so modern in those days. That if you were to put a cow through it and the meat wasn't good quality, you could have reversed it and come back as a cow. All right. You no. Know? <laughs> okay. So, you know. Yeah. Because All right. So 1980, yeah, 1985 to 2017, 17 and 10, 27, um, and 5, 32, almost 32 years. Yeah. All right. Different governments have come into being, Shiraz, and yeah. you were saying you there, there's no real change. No, no, because if you go back and you look at all the budget presentation, they always talk about what they're going to do in agriculture as of this one and the one year and a couple of years gone by. And, and what you have is not no significant changes in the agriculture sector because if you look at um, pumping money every year into agriculture, the ADB, but yet the agriculture sector has declined. So every year you are getting a budget, you are getting money in ADB, $100 million dollars, 125, 75, and so on. And what you have happening is that the agriculture sector is regressing than progressing. Mm -hmm. Right? So something is fundamentally wrong that if you are putting in all of this money into the entire ministry and paying all of these companies, we have research companies in the University of Trinidad and Tobago, the University of the West Indies, Cardi, Kariri, 
IECA, FAO, you know, we have state boards in NAMDEFCO, um, uh, NFM, all of these places. So are you, su- are you suggesting that the money is being eaten up by the bureaucracy? Well, you could pers- put it eaten up, you could be, put it not used efficiently, with not proper policy in place, mm-hmm. with not emphasis, not, not enough emphasis on agriculture. Mm-hmm. Because when Dr. Eric William developed Wallerfield and Carsonfield Esmeral, that Turia Rangways, Babandi, that was done under <laughs> Sahar Robinson. Right? And you see that like somebody is trying to remove that legacy, right? In that ca- Wallerfield wanted a Wallerfield is already de- destroyed for something in, in terms of the ETEC Park. And you have lands all over the place vacant. Now, you know, previously we had um, confrontation with the last some administration gone by where they wanted to change cars and wheel into housing and industrial and court complex and so on. And, and you know, we, you know what that caused governments to be out of power. So you have a number of things happening. And agriculture has not gone further. Mm-hmm. In fact, I have figures and I brought it to show you mm-hmm. reasons and I hope I have the opportunity because we don't have the... Tell me, tell me, what minutes. are these figures about? Um, actually, the importation. Mm-hmm. And I have a, a very, very um, detailed analysis of why the, our dairy sector has deteriorated. Actual proof and information. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, I've given you a, 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 all right. we did a general sense. Okay. Yeah. In the last two years, you had a lot of com- you have you had a lot of problems with the last administration, confrontation, Carlson Field, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> what has happened in your view over the last two years? How are you all faring? What is the relationship between this government and and the agricultural sector? Mr. Samar, nothing has changed for the last ten years. Yeah. Nothing has changed. I have figures to show it. Mm-hmm. And I, I forget. All right. What would you like to see specifically happen now, Gerald? Um, specific, at this point in time, we need to be very serious about where we want to take the agriculture sector with all the other sectors deteriorating in our economy. Mm-hmm. Right? Charles, let me ask you a question. In terms sure. of agriculture, farmers, how, how much have farmers begun to incorporate new technology and so forth to assist themselves. We have always done that, John. Always. Always. I, 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 I am a good example of that. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm a good example of that by importing semen, um, better pedigree animals and so on. But you see the thing... Now, I was talking that kind of, I talking about... All right, for example, I saw equipment. something with, with a young farmer that was using drip... Well, that is something that drip, we, um, people are doing. How you call it? Drip, drip irrigation. Drip irriga- well, that has been going on with uh, not only young farmers, mm-hmm. with, with, uh, with age farmers. Right. Uh, had, that has been going on because one of the things is that I cherish myself is for the internet. Mm-hmm. Right? I cherish myself by having to, the internet at my um, whims and fancies. Then. Let me put it this right. way. Because the internet has taught us a lot about a, a new genetic material, um, a new techniques. Um, there's new techniques that Trinidad even didn't adopt in terms of the artificial insemination of planting plants. Um, mm. People have developed hydroponics. It. Not only but hydroponics is something that has been around a long time, mm-hmm. and but, greenhouse but, uh, farming and right, all of that. Yeah. But you have people, people, farmers in this country design cassava planting machine, a corn planting machine, but that don't ever get out into the news. We have people. There was a guy in, um, in, look, my friend Ken Vieira. He has designed, locally made and designed, a fish filling machine. You understand what I'm saying? So we farmers um, continue to embrace technology Mm -hmm. um, as the internet will teach us. But I don't think the Ministry of Agriculture, this has nothing to do with government. Right. I think the Ministry of Agriculture is still lagging behind. Because if you go now and say, well, look, I want to know what's the situ- situation with my file in terms of application for lease. They don't, they go and look, they bring about so much files, and they're flipping through that. But they want the farmer to update in technology. But the, but, the, the, but the, ministry, the, is the ministry is behind. And, and, and the thing about it, I don't think that one has to anything what? to do with government. because What, 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 what accounts for the pineapple farmers? 
Well, you know what's going they, on? Again, three different questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, no. I wanted to. We'll go back sectors in our. Yeah. No, no. I'm using them to speak about technology. What have they done? They have done a lot. No, right. But what have they done to be successful? That is different to the other areas. Um, and and there's one. There's a one factor mm-hmm. that keeping back a number of those farmers from being successful with pineapple, cassava, sheep and goat. Um, fish no, but, no, but, 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 but we have been hearing about pineapple yeah, for 25 years. Success. Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, 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 a number of things for a long time. But what happened is that majority of these farmers, as every minister will tell you, operate on state lands. They don't have land tenure to go to the bank to get the necessary resources to take them further. Because 80% of the land in Trinidad and Tobago is owned by the state, you know. No, but um, what, no, what, what, what but in terms of. Any term- finance to do that? No, no, but. No, no, but the, is it fair to say that the pineapple farmers are successful in terms of production throughout the year? Yeah, they, they, they have been quite successful. For about 20, 25 years. Perhaps. They have been successful. What accounts for that? Because of their own initiatives. Mm-hmm. They own, they, they, they take in initiatives, they go on the internet, they go to shows all over the world like myself. When I have the money, I go to shows in Canada, Jamaica, Barbados. You learn in Jamaica and Barbados, you know? You learn things with them doing there that we're not even I- instituting here. No, but the thing is they brought it back. Whatever they learn, they brought it we back. We bring and it back and we give it to the authorities. Let me right. tell you something. Ten years ago, I was in Barbados, right? Mm-hmm. And Barbados have the black belly, which Trinidad don't have any breed of its own. But Barbados have the Barbados black belly sheep. And Barbados realized ten years ago that their breed is sort of deteriorating. Right? They went and learned to do and get the technology and the equipment to do fingerprinting of their breed so that they can go into one person farm genetic fingerprinting right and they may get animals that 75 percent distance are they understand what i'm saying there mm-hmm. mr marge will confuse no, you no, no, go ahead you go ahead right so the, the, all the animals in the pen but you could get some that has a distance in breeding that we can do we, we cannot have any inbreeding so what we do now we don't guess it we do it by genetic testing now so what happened is that they have done that and they have done a fingerprinting of the Barbados black belly. Which part in Trinidad that could be done? All they right. have no lab, nothing doing that. So, so there's an a v- avenue for technology, but is the Ministry of Agriculture embracing that to take the farming no, community but I, forward? I, I, I still am not getting from you. Pineapple is a success, it successful is, it fruit is, in Trinidad for 30 years. It and is, counting. and it can what? be successful. No, 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 but the point is, what is the difference between the pineapple farmer's success and the other farmers. Well, the thing about it is that they have one of the best area to do that in terms of the contours of the hills and valley. They have went to the shows and the internet and get the necessary technology to take it further. Mm-hmm. One, they increase the genetic stock by selection. They don't have a lab to do that. So they went and think because pineapple smitten uh, where they bulldoze in Derby in 2011. Remember, that was a big research station that they bulldoze. So they had good genetic stock there that they take and they transport right, no, the transport through the country. The point I'm getting to, in spite of all the challenges... Yeah, but they're, not a, they're, they're no, successful no. to a point in growing, but yeah. they have not gone anywhere else. Mm-hmm. All right, so... so you understand? All right, but what I'm hearing from Roger's example is that there are farmers who use the initiative, oh, put things, and, yeah. and, and, and it enables their success. Now... It, are there um so so a lot of it is is done through their own initiative and that kind of yeah. thing which is commendable and who have resources they and use who it. have resources right yeah now what can the ministry i don't want to say the government the ministry do to encourage that to to encourage uh more farmers to use the initiative to to drive and make, what are the, some of the things you would like to see the ministry do? For example, we talk pineapple. You say we, they are successful, in, a great success in farming and producing pineapple. And, and they're wrong. Right. Um, but there are other things you could do. There's agro processing that that could be engaged in to 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 to, to even um, add value. To what they do, and this, and this, and this is something but we have been climbing about. But who needs to do that? But is the, that the, the something thing that, about that it needs is that. to be done by the ministry, or should farmers get together and say, "Listen, if we do this, we could add value and increase 
the takes from what we produce. And, 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 and let me give some kudos here now to um, Prime Minister um, Manning. Manning. He had set up Taba, and Taba would he want to do that. Trinidad and Tobago agribusiness as organization. Mm -hmm. When the UNC came into power, they destroyed. Point blank. Right? Point blank. Because it was a PNM initiative. So you're I, talking I, about I, there has I, not I, been continuation. I am not here I am not here to discuss any party thing. Mm -hmm. I'm saying the facts as is. Right? Taba was destroyed. Taba was Taba had flour, cassava flour on the market, potatoes. If you call it could remember that. Mm -hmm. We were processing and we were making things available. Pineapple was one of the things that they were going in carry to start the process. And that mm. Taba was But Taba, right. Taba was a government initiative. But do you think that that is the right way for us it to It was go? an a help. It was a help. A help. Yeah. But do you need, how do you encourage more private capital in agro-processing? Well, well, that so. is something that we need to get help from the state because majority, as I said, all these farmers that them land, right? Um, is state land. Right. So and you need security so of need tenure. You need security of tenure to go to the bank to get a loan to uh, set up a, a plant. Have you approached the present minister we, on this? We have been talking that but, for but years now. You know land tenure, Mr. Maraj and, and John, you know how yeah. long we're talking. Even but the minister come here and complain about he can't get people lease moving from one mm, office to another. Yeah. The minister was here with you mm, all the evening yeah, yeah. and I'm, he told I you that, Mr. Maraj. Yeah, that's but, a problem. But, but, but sure as, um, and all right, I understand the importance of having the land tenure. But is it, would it be true to say that in the past when that kind of thing has happened, people have gone away from farming and used the land once they get the land for other purposes? And, is that and, true? And, and that could happen on a person who has private land. That should never happen on state land. Yeah, but, all right, but if you have um, tenure, if you get that... No, uh, private land, you don't need tenure. No, you no, have no, tenure saying, already. Right, yeah, but I'm saying with the state land, mm -hmm. if you get tenure... Then it becomes your land? No. It's still it's state still land. It's still state land. It's lease land because if you can right. recall, people had lease for their land in um, Princess Town mm -hmm. and they were still removed on the land and give them a paper competence for, for occupying the land when they would destroy the whole Lisbon yam industry, right? All because right, so, of housing. So, so, all right, once you have that tenure, you can then use it to get financing. Finance, and, so and once you keep your, your land into But proper, then there has to be another something put in place to ensure that once you uh, once you receive tenure, the use of land continues in the p for the purpose that it was given. And that is important that we keep. Right. That is important because you could you cannot um, move away from what the lease is. If people are doing it, they are doing it because of. But we have of, seen that happen in Wallafield. And I am Field. saying and that we have seen that happen in Wallafield. Right, eh? because somebody buy up three, four farms and change the purpose of it. How do we, the farmer, control that? A man has a, have some money, right? The farming and the, and this is what. Yeah, I, but then, but again, how do the farmer control that? Because you sell the land. No, but the thing about it is that, and this is one of the reasons I was going with Mr. Marsh to mm -hmm. ex, to deal with the dairy industry mm -hmm. because eighty five of the farms in Wallerfield were dairy. Right. Ninety percent of the farms in Castlefield were dairy farms. Mm -hmm. Right. So what happened is that there was something that was done to the farmer after nineteen eighty five that we cannot control. But we still continue producing. The, the thing about it is that there are a, a lot of factors. And, and I can remember saying that right here too. That there are people involved in the ministry that's supposed to be going to take a progress report on a monthly basis, quarterly basis, yearly basis, on the progress of the farm in terms of the lease serving the lease. Mm -hmm. But what you see happening, and I am not going to defend no farmer for being wrong here because he's not no lablash kind of law. If you are allowed one house and a workman quarters on the, on the land, you do that. You get permission to do that. That is what you're supposed to do. If an a, a unscrupulous farmer decides to build a third house, who stops him? Exactly. Not exactly. No, there is no application There's of the no law, of the no law. supervision. And right. nobody managed that. And these are people who are being paid traveling. They have security if they feel they're not, they feel they are not security, both pre their last knee, police and, 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 and the, the ministry. And the minister spoke about that. And that well. is the problem. The because let me tell you something. I am not here to say all farmers are holy and solely good farmers. Eh? I am not going to say that. In fact, when, when during the flood of, 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 of the Wali flood, 
I spoke here that there are people, who are farmers, who will go and take one of their friend flooded compound and take it and carry it to the market when this farmer decides not to do it because it's contaminated. But coming back to your point, John, mm -hmm. it is so critical that we manage the, 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 the use of this land for agriculture and agriculture alone, right? In Carsonfield, in Wallerfield, Esmeralda too. Mm -hmm. Around where's private land, people decide to go and get. No, if, I'm, if, I'm, if, if you have a land and you have a friend working in the ministry um, for what, uh, whether it's changing use of the land, and you get your land used, changed from agriculture to commercial, who am I to fix? But don't tell me you're taking state land. Right? But because the land in Arangos is private land? Pri some of the land, most of the land that people have moved away from agriculture is private land. Not but state they, land. But, but they because are, if, but you, they if it's state land and, and them get permission from that, check where the permission came from. from. Because, I mean, and, 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 and uh, be, Arangos is a kind of living example. Eh? Because of, of we have seen, seen, I mean, a number of houses, business places emerge. And, 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 on, on, on land and some and people tell me those are private. And I went and find out they say it's private land. So if you have, let me say, 20 acres of land doing farming, for, with, with your grandfather and your father mm -hmm. worked that land, and you see they're suffering through agriculture because nothing is put in place for it. When you are now have your master's degree in business and so on, would you continue in agriculture? But this is now private land. Eh? So but you get it use change. Yeah, but I mean, is it private land? How most much of, of the, the land most of the land that you see those land that going up there mm -hmm. now the the, 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 the land state land of the highway right there's land south of the highway that is agriculture that is after a pass but piece. is it private or state the, i think the piece before that is private and the piece to the back where they're farming right now is mm -hmm. state land and they have not it's 30 years now they're waiting for even a note to state that they could occupy that land mm -hmm. All right. right. Let's, let's look at the question of Pridia Larsini. Is that but still Mr. a... Mark, before you ask, could I do something? Okay, sure, sure. I wanted to share something with you all. Mm -hmm. Facts, black and white. This cost of production, so and people keep harping about Carsonfield and Wallerfield and Tory, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But those places were strictly, those places were strictly for dairy production. Mm -hmm. When Dr. Eric Williams developed Carsonfield and Nestle, was to supply, they brought in Nestle, they built these areas right. to supply Nestle with milk, right? So keep, we keep complaining. Now, I was a member of the Livestock Board on, in 2006, right? And they, we were de demanding that we get a cost of production survey to give a fair example, not by the farmer doing the survey. The ministry did the survey. You see it here? Ministry of Agriculture, Marine, and the Livestock Board. We did the survey in the Ministry of Agriculture in terms of cost of production, right? And I want to read here for you. The average cost of per kilo, and this is to remember people, you're not seeing it, but this guy seen it, yes, September 2006. Okay. Right, Mr. Marge? Yeah. Right. So this is what they're saying in 2006, right? The average cost per kilogram of milk is estimated at 455. John, watch it here. Mm -hmm. 455 for all farms and range between um, 329 and 665. Dairy farms with over 50 animals account for the lowest production cost estimated at 329, which is understood. Yeah. All a maximum a scale a big scale yeah. you come right. Mm -hmm. So which means now it was costing farmers six dollars and sixty five cents the smaller farms to produce a liter of milk. Right? Fast forward, and we have been complaining about this for a number of years. Fast forward to twenty seventeen. Right? I don't want to disclose the farmer name because you know we are very easy to victimize people in this right. Watch what's happening here. And I want you to read and show people, tell people that it is. Price per kilogram of milk. 235. From who? Nestle Trinidad yeah. Limited. Good. The government gives a subsidy to Nestle's of 150. 150 and 235 is how much? 385. 385. That is the average price of milk in 2017. Farmers are getting in this country for milk when in 2006 the average cost of production was four dollars and fifty five cents. How even Stevie Wonder will see this and know that nobody could make money in an industry like this. And so something fundamentally went wrong. Well, well all right, so what would you recommend be no, done to balance that I mean one of the things will obviously be that the price of milk work, right? Right. Good. Uh, uh, no, there was a number of things that happened from mm -hmm. in that time of in, in 2006 to then, right? 
we had a lot of increase in the price of feed. Medication without any sort of control in terms of people raising their price. Because remember, we in 2007, there was the Prices Commission put into place and never really got off the board, right? So there are a number of factors went into play with that. People cannot get their lease because people lease expired 25 and 30 years in these two areas. So nobody could even go further to say get money to, to reinvest to in, and upgrade and so on, right? The, the AI service, the government, the Ministry of Agriculture service started to deteriorate because what happened is that you have a number of people reaching off age of retirement, moving on, and nobody was trained to replace. You have vets. The vets would not work on, on the government um, program because they make more money privately. So there was a number of factors. But the thing about it is that you, you see why the dairy industry because in 2001, we were producing 14 million liters of milk in this country. Was we don't get 3 million liters now. Wow. Right? And again, that's because of fallout of farmers who no longer find well, profit. And, and the farms are vacant and, and look dilapidated. But it's not the farmer's fault. There was a number of factors that went into it. Now, all over the what world. Could have been, what could have prevented that decline, Shira? That's the first question. Right. And what do we need to stimulate production? Okay. One, we need to have a new genetic improvement in the stock of wheat that we have right now. Right? A genetic stock, I mean that there are farmers who need to get animals that produce it, not genetically engineered thing that you could put in a tablet into a cow and you get 10 gallons of milk. We're talking about natural because in Trinidad we can monitor that. Right? We need to get genetic improvement stock back into the frame of the thing. Into the, into and the whose responsibility is that? That is the ministry's one. We but can select because for me to, for, for you, you have to get a permit and so on. And that has been a program by the ministry AI service. Yeah. Right? AI okay. artificial insemination service. Mm -hmm. And that has deteriorated over the years. But, but can that research. Right, what, no, what, what else do you need to right? do for simulating products? One. As most other, most other countries, they help assist the farmers in terms of subsidy, but not subsidy to Nestle. That 150 that going to Nestle is subsidizing Nestle, not the farmer. Mm -hmm. right? In Barbados, Pine Hill pays their farmer one US dollar for a liter of milk. And right now in Trinidad and Tobago, Nestle is paying $2.35. That's not even 50 cents US. Not even f so. What happening is that, and who talks to Nessus? All right, but let me ask you this: Who talks right? to Nessus? Who, who yeah, talks but, to Nessus? The state had to do that, not us. In terms of you talk about, it had an agreement. That's, that's what, that's what, mm -hmm. It had an agreement between the state and Nessus coming here. Mm -hmm. And if the highway wasn't there, it would have, it would have never stopped Nessus from expanding. Right? The dairy sector has suffered, Bec and then and then what happened now? In two thousand and John, sorry, I, I, I just need finish, to clear finish, this yeah. right. In 2002, when we were producing, 2000, 2001, we were, when we were producing 14 million liters of milk. We had Nestle was buying all that? All that milk, all that. Nestle still buys all the milk? Most of it. Most of it? Most of it. I, I, Where did the rest I, I was going to just yeah. tell you why, why thing, right? We had depots in Woodland, right? In Penal. We had in, in Orange Field. We had in Kunupier. We had Montrose. We had, we had depots all over picking up small amount of milk. Because the importation was cheap at that time, Nessus closed down 15 mill depots and leave only Carson Field and Wallerfield operational. And, 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 and has gone into, well, and, impo and, importation of milk is the cause of it. Right, yeah. By, by all the groceries and all of that. Right. So you understand what's happening here. It was a sabotage of the dairy industry that, that destroyed that. Well, who, well, well, when you say sabotage, that's a very strong word. Who would have conducted that sabotage? Well, the thing about it, everybody was co cooperating to do that from Nestle. To you mean, you mean, you mean state, foreign taste, foreign taste. Foreign taste, introducing foreign taste because yeah. we have dairy, dairy, moo, um, pine hill, all of the... Uh, and by the way, Barbados is... You could take Barbados and put it in Kuva Tabaki, Talpa Regional Corporation and have one to the land still empty. And Barbados were bailing grass. I saw Barbados bailing grass in 19... In 2001, and came and promoted that. 1998, sorry, and came and promoted that in Trinidad because Barbados were producing hay for their animal survey. We start producing hay in 2013 here. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I had a document to show it's in 1998. I through promoted who, who, well, who is supposed to produce the hay? Well, we ha what, what we are saying is that it was supposed to be a collaboration between the ministry because they have the land. 
uh-huh. and the capital. Because right. in Jamaica, in Barbados, government produce the hay and sell it to the farmers. Government. Mm. In Jamaica, and in, I, I am telling you what nobody tell me. You know, yeah. I've been there and I see it. Mm-hmm. I've been there and I see right, it. So you are saying, right now, right. you drive through some of the country areas, yeah. you will see the tall, tall bales still on the roadside, John. It, it pained me to when you see Barbados and don't have the resources that we have. But we allow the dairy sector to go down the drain. Right. Well, 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 clearly, the dairy sector face competition from imports. All, right? the, all sectors, right. not only right. really dairy. Well, no, but well, well, we focus on that. They, they face our competition from import, And the imports were cheaper. And, 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 of course, that is the main cause for the decline, right? Yeah. Main cause for the decline. Mm-hmm. How do we lift our production to that, do that kind of economies of scale to be able to compete with the foreign products? Because clearly we can't ban the foreign products. But we, but we could we protect what we have. How do we because do that? We have the avenue right now to continue to raise our production. Yeah. The, the, the infrastructure is still there, right? right. So we, we want to destroy it right now. Yeah. Right? Infra- in, well, when you say we, we are referring well, to. Well, I'm talking about Trinidad and Tobago, you know, it's incorporate state and, and ministry and everybody. But it, it is a tragic thing that if you were producing 14 million mm-hmm. gallons of milk at liters. one time, liters. Huh? Liters. Liters. liters of milk, and now we are producing one to three million, mm-hmm. that's a precipitous decline. Yeah. And, 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 and if and, you're saying. And, and what further destroy that? Under the UNC, the importation of milk went up by hundreds of percent. Yes. You understand which, which which we thought being being a, a state coming from that sector. Of, of course, would, would have been that's able, one of the tragic things about one that. One of the most tragic things. Tragic. Tragic. You understand? Because what happening is that Carrie Limited had a good dairy in two thousand and and three when they closed Carrie Limited. It wasn't only the key sugar, you know. I heard you yesterday about the sugar, mm-hmm. that the sugar was too costly. It wasn't that. You destroy a number of sectors and people by the closure of Karen Limited. That's why we're having so much of flood in Central now. Right? We, the farmers, the farmers, the livestock farmers, both pig, cattle, sheep, and goat, chickens, suffered from the closure of Karen Limited because we couldn't get the waste product out of Karen Limited. Assist us to survive. You got out that. Uh, your, uh, that was the feed stock. Feed stock. Both bagas for for litter. We know how to cut trees and shave it again. Shaving, Mr. Maraj and John and Ali. We had to cut trees. People are stealing trees and buying a machine to make shaving. When we had bagas by the mountains in Carney Limited, could have been dry and we. Bear our animals, pen, chicken pens, and sheep and goat. It causes sheep and goat farmers to now raise their whole pen off the ground because we don't have the, the, the amount of bedding to put anymore. Mm. In Canada, people make bedding, they build um, trash. The, the, the waste of the, um, the, the, the soya bean and sorghum and so on, they bail that to make bedding for their animals in mm. the winter. And we dist- and I am not I am not about the politics about the no no no, no, no. on reflection thing. clearly the, the the closure of Karani could have been an enormous mistake because at least we could have maintained the um the, the sugar production for local use and then all of the side effects that you're talking about the bagas for the byproducts side products not right. effects yeah. by byproducts by, by right yeah. um of, of for for the animal industry molasses right. molasses right now Mr Maraj move from one. But we don't produce rum in this country uh, 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 anymore. No. One twenty a gallon to almost twelve dollars a gallon imported honey out of Belize and Guyana. That is what we face right now. No, uh, yeah, I want to yeah, get back yes, to the, yeah. the question in terms of of the milk production, right? No, no, no. Yeah, milk production and and how we could come out. This is the question Ralph was asking. One of the things you talked about was genetic stock. Yeah. Do we have what it takes here in Trinidad? to improve our genetic stock or do we have to only rely on importing that stock? We need to, we need to import the, the genetic, especially semen. Right now in Trinidad, one of my good friends, good evening, Dr. Marla Knight, he is in Trinidad. Mm-hmm. He but, but, but Shira, I want to ask this important No, 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 importing the semen. That clearly that cannot be have to be a, a government responsibility. If I am a farmer and I want to improve my stock, Shouldn't and I? The point I was well, some of us do it. Genetic, some of us do the, it. The, the, that genetic development. Whose responsibility is that? But the thing about it is that, let me tell you something, right? They are, they are, they are embryo transfer and genetics, right? 
being a small economy like ours, if everybody were to be importing their own who because no farmer could inseminate that is a specialized specialized training thing to be done. Mm-hmm. That you know you, you know what to go inside of there. Only last week, Tuesday, I have raised with the Ministry of Agriculture we need to start to train our farmers to do their own EAI. But storing semen and embryos is, is something very technical. Ah. Okay. Very technical. Okay. You, ha- you cannot allow your nitrogen in your canister. You're talking about something that needs to be managed. Yeah. Right? Or most of right. our dairy farmers so, so, are over so, so, I'm just looking at a restructuring yeah. and modernizing yeah. of the sector. Yeah. For example, so that if uh, Roger Lee, a big capitalist like him, <laughs> decides, well, look, I am going to invest a couple million dollars into that very facility to store the cement and, and, and the em- em- embryos and so on. Isn't that also a possibility? And, 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 and then pro- and then act as and then supply other farmers. Well, supply farmers. And, and, and that is that is exactly what Erin Farm did uh-huh. for the pig industry. Right. Right. Which is which has grown. Uh, uh, no. No. They were destroyed by whom? By the state. How? From fourteen, from twelve thousand breeding sows on the Erin Farm uh-huh. is down to five hundred, Mister Marat. What caused that? I came here. What, I what can't co- raise that. What caused that? How did the EMA state, wanted eh? to close them down. My good friend Ian Leung Poi. I, I, as a Muslim, as a Muslim, mm-hmm. and I raised mm-hmm. the issue of pig and pork mining and so on. I was chastised by my Muslim community yeah. for doing that. All right. But my friend who was a member of the Lights of God, when I got him to assist us with doing this survey, right? Because when they had that farm set up down there, it didn't have people living around. Right. And then but Erin Farm was a popular uh, thing. And still it's still is. Still, yeah. Yeah. still is. Yeah. But what? why it is it that they had to move and they were threatened to close? When they threatened to so close. So the state them threatened them? Yes. They threatened to. What was the reason the state gave? Because the pig smelling. The pig smelling? Yeah. The, who, pig, the who, pig too. Yeah. Who, 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 who were complained about that? The people in the area complained. Isn't that a legitimate complaint? It is a legitimate complaint, but most in most developed countries, yeah. when you have a problem, the state get together with the with the with the, with the farmer and they will look for mechanism to solve the problem. Not closure, not closure, Mister Maraj. I agree. They have they have separators. They separate the liquid from the solids. I went and see it myself. I'll be on that farm. Yeah, but then. But but couldn't Erin Farms do that? They do invest that. Invest in the, the technology. They were investing. They mm-hmm. were employing people from the area, mm-hmm. right? And then for some reason or the other, they they they, they give them until that was I think 2014 to, by June 2014 or something like that to close down their farm. So in order to manage the the, the problem that they were having, they dropped the stock from that and they started importing. This is I, the, I, at this one is time the, I told we were, we were, we were, we were self-sufficient in at pork. At one point in time, because Scranta make pork real important in for the Christmas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> yeah. And then what happened? You all was here when I came with farmers complaining about the importation of pork. Dumb pork into this country. We're costing our farmer almost $15 to produce a pong of pork. Selling it for $20 to make our $5 profit. And pork, imported pork, dumb pork that the minister tell all you about here. Was expired in the in thing, selling for eight dollars a pound, Mr. Marat. Who gave the permit? Was it the minister right a permit to import that? So we're talking about foreign exchange now. Don't find me. Um, no, no, no. I like what you I, you're, you're saying some important these things. These are you issues. These are issues in this country that people play politics with. Right? Because there was a man who didn't like what was going on. So what can be done to save Erin Farm now? Have let the ministry and the EMA. And the Aryan farms come together and let us discuss. We don't ever meet people to discuss. Well, you could maybe re- relocate them, for example, if you wish. Relocate the cost of relocation. Alright, okay. Be there. But you're saying they have methods, it technology. Have Not only that, Mr. Maraj, if you have a problem with my pig smelling, all of you come and meet me here. We bring people we brought the livestock board and e- and Erin Farm brought a specialist down here. Had a seminar with the ministry. Mm-hmm. SFC Sugarcane Feed Center have been doing similar work. Mm-hmm. All we need to do is to put the emphasis on solving that problem, not closure. Right. right. Good not point. closure. Good if point. if you want to close somebody down <laughs> and there's options that be presented. I was at the meeting. Everybody, some people laughed at me because it was in the only month of Ramadan <laughs> that they made up they had this thing and I walk in and I went in and people was laughing at me. Because you know why? Well you were doing your duty. No, I was supporting my friend. 
Ian yeah. Leong, he was a board member with me because when I have problem in sheep and goat, he assists. Yeah. So these, but this is what we need to do because you you look close, you don't look to and here's something that man, that man Ian Leong and his family down Irene, they have built an AI factory that was given. They were bringing, they bringing. You see, like how um, my Tyson and them fellas build body. You see, you had pigs like that. They had pigs that they import genetics, and they had and they were they, they were they had a, a cement factory. And producing cement to give and the, and the, and what they did, they deny all of that and went to importation and destroy what what and that if you ever talk about something that could compete worldwide was Aryan Farm. Mm. No, you know you know the interesting thing and the point you're making too is that, and, and this happens in I suppose other industries where you go and you set up in a rural area where there's nobody around, and you start doing your thing and then people come into the area. As to live complaint. and so forth, and then complain that you inconvenience in them. Yeah. There has to be something wrong with that too, eh, Ralph? No, yeah. no, no, but there, there was something we have been clamoring for 15 years now for that. A land use policy. Ah, I have made the point. No government, no government want to deal with that because they want to take away state land when they want to for their own political whims and fancies in this country. That's Good point. Issue. Right? Yeah. Good That's point. That issue. is what happened land with use, us in 2011. Land use is critical. Land use policy. When land they bulldozed us in 2011, Mr. Mayor Ole gave me a real pressure today, boy. <clears throat> Because it, it, it affected me. No, because it's good. Are are we, you talk your talk, man. You talk your talk. For the, talk economy, your talk. And for the people of Trinidad, not, not red or the yellow. The people of Trinidad. and The poor people. That's right. It's the poor people. It's the poor people that benefit from all that employment, food to eat and all of that. When they decided to bulldoze Dabadi, right over the road, they want to move the Dabadi farmers to over the highway. Because they want to move them from... um What, what was it? What, what, what the big, big board for the... Um, and the robust constituency, Bonnier. Bonnier. Yeah. Right. They wanted to move the farmers from there. Now, Maloney you're talking about. Maloney. On the highway. Yeah. Well, right. go ahead. They wanted to move they the farmers. They wanted farm. to move them from there and put them right over the road in Shogwanas. And um, Tim, Gopi Singh, <laughs> Tim, Go <laughs> Tim Gopi Singh constituency. Politics. Right over the road, you know. So, they wanted 100 acres of land. Pay the farmer to move and put them over the road in a swamp. Because this Tim Gopi Singh constituency to... Um, to Alan Roberts. Alan Roberts, because he won by 800 votes. So mm -hmm. they wanted to put in 2,000 votes to match, to but they're still lost. Yeah. And in Shogwanas, Mr. Maraj, Roger, John, they moved the farmers from Dastrace, Egypt. I surely can remember yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Right over the road from Shogwanas East into Shogwanas West. And John, in, 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 um, at that time was Jack Warner, where he went by 18,000 votes. And that is what they do. They just over the road from one or over the road to the next. That is how petty politics is in this country. Oh, yes. For their own whims and fancy, why poor people suffer. And today the same fellas can't because they're so far away from their home. They can't even manage over there because they didn't give them the resources of the road and water and them kind of thing. So, so don't tell me that farmers have not made effort to, to bring this country, to feed this country. Because if you look at remember in 2011, they destroy almost 200 acres uh, 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 soil in this country when we didn't have soil on the market. Soil with twenty dollars a pound. You remember that? And 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 um uh, and Monilal wanted Monilal wanted to give me some soil to drink. You understand? <laughs> yeah. And them kind of thing. Mr. Maraj, we play petty politics with the people like I agree with you. And the UNC. I agree with and, you. And Both parties. Stop that. Both parties. Right? Let's go to let's 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 wait, let's wait, look. Wait, hold on. Let, let, so one of the things to solve this obviously would be a land use policy. But who yeah. developing right? that? A land use policy. It had um, to be with stakeholders. Land job. tenure. Yeah, land tenure. Right. These are some of the solutions you are seeing to those problems. Because land, land use, use policy, land, land, land tenure. And, and, and private sector investment. Well, and, right. but, but, but private that, sector investment and, and will be facilitated by land tenure. Let me tell you why yeah? I'm so disappointed with our present prime minister. When we did this, that was discussed in the negotiation to come up with a memorandum of understanding where Dr. Rowley and Ansel Roger put their signature. That came up in the discussion. Right? Mm -hmm. That came up in the discussion. So when you see us, both, because I thought NTAC would have dealt with this thoroughly. Right? Now you try apartheid. Try apartheid and let get the farmers and the business and the government involved. But you put your signature to do something and, and that's one people you find that you, you you'll find that Rook and Sir Roger and myself and all of us thing. But you put a signature of that because we thought that that would be going. Yeah. Because if you have no I am not on the party politics thing. Facts is facts. Yeah. If you have land 
and you want to take away land. I am saying again, there were two administrations try that and they faced the wrath of the, of the people. And this time it will be the, no different. Agriculture land should stay in agriculture. agriculture. People who want to park trailers on agriculture land should be stopped. Shiraz can't can stop them. Right? Mm -hmm. Let me give you a little scenario, Mr. Maraj, of a farmer life. With all this taking place here with the dairy sector, as I showed earlier on, right? If a farmer has 10 cows, Nestle is not paying him a subsidy because the government is not paying the $1.50 to Nestle for five months, six months. In 1984, we marched the street for that. The Nestle people is not getting the pay the farmer. The farmer had to owe the ADB. Farmer had to go and get school. The school term come in August. He had to get school for books for his children. Interest by ADB going up. Government didn't pay the Nestle's. Nestle's not increasing the price of milk. What's the first thing he do? To send his children to school. Because anybody, no matter how poor they is, they'll send their children for education. Sell a cow. Hardship come. Sell a cow. What do you expect the farmer to do, Mr. Maraj? And today we condemn the farmer for being backward and, and, and all of that. But the thing about it is that in Germany, the farmers and them throw away milk and block the whole of Germany for two cents on a litre of milk. You remember that? Mm -hmm. When they were pouring milk? Two cents, you know, Mr. Maraj. The French farmers don't make jokey. French and German. But here, you see here now, we are yellow and red. Over yeah. there is one set of people. Yeah. Right? Here is yellow and red. So when the PNM in power, the UNC want to protest. And when the PNM in power... When the UNC in power, PNM protesting. When the UNC is not in power, PNM protesting. So that's how we go. But Mr. Maraj, agriculture has been treated as a bastard child of the economy. I agree Mr. Maraj and John and Roger, how long are you hearing people saying we have to make agriculture sexy, we have to bring back agriculture, but nobody's doing it. All right, but, 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 but now, no, well, now is the opportunity. Eh? Yeah. But go ahead, John. But, 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 Mr. Maraj, no, that what? budget does not show that. All right. Shiraz, I have been noticing, I, let me know if I'm wrong, that there are a number of young people getting into farming, right? We were supposed to have one of them here today, but I don't know why Ricky didn't show up. But, and I've seen others, not only farming, but also agro-processing. Agro young people, yes. people who are coming out of university with degrees and deciding, and listen, right? They, they, I, I saw one young man, he has an estate somewhere, and, and they're doing stuff. Is no that should be good for the industry, yes. It should be good. But if if the, if this guy father fought hard and get his lease or his deeds or private mm. land, of course he's going to do that. Right. And and he which but, means he will have a start. No, and the reason I went there because you said about making agriculture sexy again. Of course. Because and what you mean really I interpreted what you said to mean attracting young people into and, the industry. And I'm, glad, I'm happy you're going in that direction because that had to be one of my main points today on discussion mm -hmm. of how do we get the young people. Now, we had young people involved in agriculture and through the Farmers Union, a lot of young people was involved in get, doing things. There's a young man, he has reached Africa shipping Jabari Lynch. He was um, a, 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 a youth parliamentarian. He started a nice business, but again, the inputs, because of the increase in the inputs, he cannot match the international prices and so on. There are a number of young people. There's um, Chevan Kuo, who is the secretary, interim secretary of the mm -hmm. Farmers Union, planted some pimentos, a bowl of protein containers, the pimentos and cauliflower. The poor fella couldn't see away with it. So what we do, young people, will, because when we go, we encourage young people to get involved. But when the young person go in there, they're not like we, you know. They're not like us. I am 56 years of age. I ain't want to go nowhere because I have to stay there and grind. But they're not going to do that. So if these young people are doing something here and, 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 and the agro processors and so on, what are they processing? Foreign, foreign inputs. We need to put local input in those for processors. And, and agro processing has to be a way out. Not to build one in, in Maruga and tell a man in Shagaramas, the Guav Road farmers, to carry the produce down Maruga. To put in a, a processing plan in Maruga tell me something totally different of their intention. What do you think is the intention? To import, to, um, to import put a, they put in a jetty down there too. Yeah. And they build in a jetty. Mm -hmm. the, 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 what, what they said is well, it's three, four hundred million to build the highway to Maruga and four hundred and fifty million dollars to build the jetty. So that tells me that agro processing, industrial agro processing thing is for import because why are you building a jetty? Tell me, you have jetties, you have, you have, 
you have, you have um, port facilities, all that, but suffering for resources and all of that. Mm-hmm. But you want to build a new one. And the way, way, way to get... I, I, I think it's cocky politics we have here, you know. <laughs> I agree. Cocky eye politics. Yeah. But, but no, let, let, let me go back to this thing. Now, the way to improve primary production for uh, linkage into agro-processing is to ensure security of tenure, right? Yeah. Because if you have security of tenure, you go to the bank, you, you borrow your money, money you go and you increase your you production. You use a do a contract with you. Yeah. Right. 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 Good. You know Taba owing people five, six years now for cassava and sweet potato the contract people for? Right. Have you approached the present minister on land tenure? Has, he, has any steps been made? I have had constant discussion with him. And what, and what is the response? His response is he can't get the public servants and them to work. Wow. Really? Is he that said a, that right here to but, you but, all but, but, but on a Sunday morning when he left. What you're saying, Mr. Marriage? He seems to not have a good relationship with his public service. But let me ask you a question. That's what you said on the... I listened to all of you. Know. <laughs> yeah. But let me ask you a question. When he was all that advertised sure. that Mr. Rambard was coming mm. here. Brother, I sit, I run. I start, like this morning, I start for half past five cutting grass uh, and sit down by the video to listen to Mr. Rambard. And the same complaint I am giving you today, Mr. Rambarat shared. I don't think um, Lee Geraldi was with you all. To, but, um, Roger. But, but, but Roger that, Lee was somebody but else. Is that, Gil- is that a real thing, though? Huh? Are there public servants frustrating the efforts of both the farmers? No, no, I, I, you know, I, I have persons that suffer from victimization <laughs> plenty here because when I talk out against um, um, Devan Mara, the Pomen Court, I'm still in court, eh? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm still in court. And the UNC Pomen Court, the PNM charged me $75,000 for $35,000. I'm still waiting <laughs> to go and get cost and interest. That is the reality of people talking out in this country. No, but, but is that a reality? Is that, I yeah, mean, when you talk out, you'll be victimized, John. No, no, no. You know I why most farmers doesn't is. want to come on radio station and so on, yeah? You know why farmers doesn't, doesn't want to come out? Because they are being threatened. We had farmers came out in marches in Nestle. And they started to re- re- refuse their milk and throw them out of business. Mm-hmm. Right. So are you are coming to your question? Your question was that? Is it <laughs> is it a real um, complaint that the minister has? Are there public servants frustrating the efforts of farmers and also um, yeah. the yeah. ministry officials? Well, let me just give you a good example of how that frustration is. And I am looking to boast our friendship with the minister. Dr. Nice was in Trinidad. Dr. Nice, myself, and the minister had a meeting on my farm because what we were doing was synchronizing. Synchronizing is ensuring that all the animals come in heat at the same time to do an insemination, right? How, how, how do you say anyhow? That's an interesting... But so, well, if I go to give you that, that synchronizing <laughs> is very... It, it, it's natural. It's natural. It's natural okay, but you know what, right. what you want to do is to have... You don't want the AI man who come from America... Uh, what we bring from Maryland University, doing one today and tomorrow, you're going to be here two years and, you know, do all the animals. <laughs> right. So Dr. Nice and them have came up with a, come up with a protocol to do that, right? right. So Dr. Nice, Minister, and myself had a, me- had a session discussion with by, by me there. So we say, make an arrangement now because the ministry has imported semen in Centeno that we were going to use on mine goats because we have a professional AI technician out of the Maryland University. The minister was on his phone talking to the directors and said, he sh- right, um, look, I need the semen. Make sure that the semen is here on Saturday or Friday evening so that Dr. Nice and his people could inseminate this animal. You know Friday evening the AI technician couldn't get hold of the, the, the deputy director to open the office to get it. Yeah. <laughs> the minister was in point um, fourteen. Blue Vex. I had to go and meet him after this operation take place down there. And that is, the, that is the result of public servants. And then what happening there now? Because of I making it public here now, I am always victimized. But I don't care. I live by the mercy of my almighty Allah. And, and with all the court matter I have, still surviving. And I'm here to talk. And I'm looking good because I'm drinking my goat milk and my coconut oil. Yeah, yeah. It's coconut right. oil too. Eh? Yeah. All right. Let me ask you one thing. <laughs> Pre- let, let, let's go to... Let, let, let's, go to, to let's go to Pridia Larson. Is the government doing anything with respect oh, to that? God. Mr. Maharaj, I don't agree already. <laughs> 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 Pridia Larson is the, the Achilles heel. I think so. Of, 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 this, of, this, of this thing. It has turned away a great number of farmers in the Carson Field area from mining animals. Pigs, sheep and goat, cattle, ducks, and them kind of things. 
Let me give you a scenario of a man who ended up selling out his animals because of what he was experiencing. He had two top cows that he got when the ministry brought in um, some of the um, embryos about eight years ago uh, with Dr. Dr. Brown, Dr. Brown, I think it was Dr. Brown, some, I, I did that with, with Dr. Herewood and Carson Field had gotten a lot of high genetic animals. For the first time, these animals was going to make young one. And in the morning, all we hear was ball, bawling. Somebody went and killed the two cows two weeks again to make young one. God. What? With the, with the, with the, with the, with the heifers, because it was um, uh, um, selected that it was only female, because they could do, um, they could do selection, right? Um, selection um, thing. And he ended up selling out all his cows because he couldn't take that because every time he eat he vomit because he couldn't take on seeing what they do there. They left the, the head and the guts with the little calf inside it. All right. And that is what we face in how, how does the state agency um, um, oh, how, can? Uh, how, how can the state we agency be more effective in our police? With what? With what? With police? The police? The, no, no, no. The, the state the police? Or? Uh -huh, yeah. The state police have a part to play to right. the camera. Uh, uh, what about what other, what other security do you need? But, well, the thing about it, people have cameras now. We are, Here's something. I have a friend in... Do, in don't you have in, agricultural in, officers or agricultural wardens? Or no, what? no. What uh -huh. we have is strictly pedia larceny. That's all. Yeah. Right? No, no. But to, to, to help you we, against this... No, we have nothing like wardens and them kind of thing, Mr. Yeah. Marge. What happens right? in another most country? Of these, most of these areas like Wallerfield and Carsonville has come at thoroughfare now. You know? People use the area as thoroughfare because with the traffic in Shogunas, everybody passing to go to Tors Road and um, Caparo and Londonville and Flanagan and all of that. People sell them using Main Road to even go to Arima. They pass through Carsonville. So we have, been, we have vehicles and then they bring 500 right behind us, which is a hotspot as you know in Central. Right? So what happening is that the, po the, the Pedia Larceny Squad need to be given more resources. Right. That right? Is, oh, we have a Pedia Larceny Squad yes. in the police yeah, service. Yeah, what happening? In the police that service? That should have been more effective. Well, and you can remember just the day after the budget, the Minister of Agriculture said he was looking for some guns. And he couldn't find it for two years. And he found it. You remember that? Mm -hmm. So all of that stupidness went on in the past. Then what happened is that when Vassan Barat, and I know he got vexed with me for saying, but it's a fact. When Vassan Barat came into his office, she shut down the Agriculture Ranger Squad. That what we fought for. The Farmers Union and the... And, and this Agriculture Ranger Squad was for what? Was forced, to, was formed to, 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 to do what the PDL Arsene Squad doing. Yeah. But they didn't like that because it was a PNM initiative. So while they're fighting a political battle, the ordinary people suffering in this country. Is when, when, when David Marsh come in into power and he, he, he was searching. I three things I tell him. I say, let us start the Montjalou project. Let us start the community uh, market and, the, and bring back the Peter, uh, the, the, Peter, um, the Agriculture Ranger Squad. He started it with the Agriculture Ranger Squad. In two months, he shut it down because they didn't like the name because it was a PNM thing. And that is what happened with stupid politics in this country, and poor people suffer. Mm, and today right. it is the Pedia Lasting Squad. So, uh, so, I, Pridia, so, so I just want to go back to the Pedia Lasting Squad. Where does this reside, John? In the police service? It, it resides, that, of course, they are reporting to the police service. Uh -huh. the, the, the Pedia, uh, no, yeah, but the thing about it is that the, the, the Pedia Lasting Squad works with the, the police. Right. Let me tell you something. All right, let, let me ask you this. But they are, no, no, they are, a Pedia Lasting officer, if he visits John's farm, and he sees somebody engaging in Pridia Latini. Can he arrest him? Yes, yes he, he has, has that power. power of arrest, yes. Does he, he have, does power. has weaponry? Let me don't go with that, that public That was an now. issue and the minister dealt with that. Yeah, because you don't want to talk about that in public. So no, so the and them to. But Mr. Mad, I want to share, I want to share <laughs> one thing. Right, I, I, want to be, I want to continue to get the help. Eh? Yeah. Right? Mr. Mad, I want to share something with you here. That is frightening. And, 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 well, you know, normally when we have other interviews, it will be so short, a little half an hour, and we doesn't get the time, right? Mm -hmm. In this country, our importation, and people, what I'm reading from you is direct facts, right, of, of, of what it is that I'm going to say, and it is here to show, and it is not my handwriting. I print it out just to share it with people, right? Frozen fruits in this country started to increase in 2011, right? 
In 20, John, I want to share because I don't want people to say anything. Read it with me now. I need to add uh, thing. In 2006 and 7 and 8 and 9, up to 2010, we are between 396 to 400, 400, right? Right, yeah. In 2011, what way it went to, John? A million. To, uh, right? 100, 1,000. It moved from 400, you know, to 1,000 importation of frozen fruits in this country. And this is, this is monetary value here? Yeah, no, no, no. These kilograms. These kilograms. kilograms. Right. Uh, so me metric tons, sorry. Metric tons. Right, so it went from 400 and... 18 in 2010. Right, frozen so fruits. 18, yeah. yeah, frozen fruits. No, no, no. 80. Uh, that is um, fresh and frozen, right? Yeah, fresh and frozen. And so 1380 in 2011. The 1129 in 2012. 1197. Right. In and you know what's the frightening thing about that, John? Mr. Marge, mm -hmm. Roger? You yeah. know what's the frightening thing about that? It increased from 2010, but to the present day, it has not dropped. All right, here's what Amy Bridgelal Singh says. She's a 24-year-old professional. She cooks three times a week and buys her goods from a foreign distributor three times a month. She purchases most, mostly meats and vegetables produced in foreign markets and is adamant she has no intention of transitioning to local food. She says, according to Bridgelal Singh, the imported produce are better quality, more consistent, and she simply likes them more. Well, you, you, one thing you can't do is force people to do yeah. what it is that you want. If they have their likeness and their travel for a little, especially if you hear the travel for a little two weeks away, when they come back, they ah, accent, right. they have accent, foreign accent and foreign taste. Read it out for the, for the public. Do, not me. You read it out for the public. Right. So this, see what this one is. Um, frozen fruits. Frozen fruits. Strawberries. This is metric tons. Yeah. Strawberries and all kinds and, of things. Twenty oh six, it was twenty four. That's twenty four thousand. Yeah. Twenty four thousand. So, no, no, that's twenty four. Just use it at twenty four metric tons. Twenty four metric tons. Yeah. Right? Twenty oh seven fifty six, twenty oh eight, two fifty eight. Then twenty ten one fifty two, twenty eleven one eighty one, twenty twelve two eighty, twenty thirteen five hundred and eight. 2014, 536, 2015, 632. Right. And then, and, wow. then, and then the figures were matching, coming up for the coming same up. thing for, the, for 2016. Yeah. The reason being here, people, if you were importing 24 metric tons in 2006, right, and you're going up to 500 and 632 metric tons, what are you talking about? 600 and something metric tons increase. What happened to our local fa vegetable farmers? When you bring in something from out of the U.S., heavily subsidized, you know, heavily subsidized, right? And, and I forget to bring it. And I bring some, some canned vegetables for you, like plastic in the can. I forget to bring it today and show you, and I keep it just for that purpose. You see, Mr. Marge, there's a problem, and the reason why I work with all of this is to show all you how the importation has destroyed the local industry from 2010 to now. No, no. Because you're seeing the figures increase, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I no, look, 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 look at the figures here. Yeah. 2011 hold on, hold on. to 2016. $32.7 billion dollars in, in, yes. in, in, yeah, in, but, in foreign. But let me ask you this. Does mainly also, fruits and vegetables, cereals, dairy, and meat. Yes, Mr. Marr. So when you destroy, you see, when you destroy your local sector, they give other people business, you know? Yeah. You, and you know when when you bring in when you when when um when you bring one container you can monitor it is, is and that, make is sure that, that what is having the container is, is, is that it, huh? is that figure where the, the problem lies one one what? one percent one percent of what here what I want to walk out of this <laughs> <laughs> no meaning meaning <laughs> the, 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 the big businessmen are not in farming no, not no in but farming. the thing is they ain't import if three of four of us could I import a container a vegetable in this country we'd do it right it is no no easy it's not right. a penny to bring right that. right so that's right. what I'm but, saying but are you competing really with the big business right and but the big businessmen have a tax concession you know? no but they also have influence yep. influence I want to we, we just we just now we just read Mm -hmm. From 2006 all those years into 2016, you're talking about a 2,533% increase. increase on importation. What do you expect this small man to do, John? But I want to ask you this. Does it also open us up? Because you talk about, you forget to bring the thing with the vegetables plastic. 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 Does <laughs> it also open us up to, to, to these fake, fake foods? Like right. you're seeing plastic, rice, right. and, and all the kind yeah, of things. Thing, and, and, and I wanted to link, 
I wanted to link that to the, the, the sickness because the figures to show with the same, when the time the importation started to increase, the same time when the diabetes and the heart and the cancer, you discussed this morning about a little boy. Yeah. What old is he, Mr. Maraj? Ten years old. Ten years. We used to hear about old people getting cancer a long time. Very old in the modern times. When, when, when you have little children like that, Mr. Af, it has to do with nutrition. If you want to deal with your health or your public, it's to, and instead of building hospital, treat with the nutrition. The who's dealing, John, <laughs> who's dealing with that? And, and that's another reason that we should increase the local, local. inputs into food and so forth. And, and, yeah. and, and, and the thing about it is that, take for instance the dairy. Why the dairy went into what it is now? When you talk about dairy, you're talking about the cow, the manure, the hide, the milk to make cheese, the, the meat to make sausages and, and, and ham and them kind of thing. Mr. Maradi, if I go to stand, tell all the, all the figures, it's, it, 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 it increased, it started to increase from 29, 2010, it moved from four, two, two, 275 to 400 metric tons. Mr. Maradi, that is what went on in the country in 2010 to 2011. It has nothing to do with them. I don't like them. I have the figures to show. Yeah, yeah. And, and what we need to do is to understand when you bring a cheap or dumb thing into the country, the man who have the $2 when he, could, when he had to buy something, he go buy a cheap or the man who had the $1,000, he go go and buy something better. All right, chicken, but we need to look at that. Chicken is one of the meats that is, you know, you know consumed voluminously. At one point, Shiraz, yeah, listening. La, in the same way we were almost self-sufficient in pork, I got the impression that we, we were almost self-sufficient in, in chicken. Chickens, yeah. What has happened? What has happened? What has happened is that what happened is that when these cheap, when these cheap dumb stuff start coming into the country, because what happens is like the floodgate open for importation uh, uh, between 2010 to 2016. The floodgate. What, 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 why? Why was that? Why? Mr. Marge, if if you have people in the very first year of office. Decide to blatantly bulldoze people and blame other people for their, for their action. What do you expect? It was a clear sign that agriculture was not their interest. Right? It was a clear sign. They came into power May 24, 2010. April 21st, on a public holiday, on Easter Monday, a sacred day, you decided to run in. I don't know the news. Remind us. They bulldoze bearing productive areas in Darbadi, Dastris, Egypt, and, and Endeavor. Right? For what purpose? For housing. We went over that just now. I'll yeah. tell you why we build houses mm. where. So the in emphasis was not agriculture. Yeah? And you see in 2011, the importation. This is not. I didn't write this enough. Mm -hmm. scene, I didn't write this. Yeah, we go, and, but focus, up, uh, right, focus so, where you are so, and, and tell us so, about uh, so also the, thing the about uh, it is chicken. That, so but I suppose it happened right across. Right across yeah. all stuff. I have everything here for you all. Because Look, take for instance, egg. why do you think we see we've seen so much of farm abandoned? We had a 289% increase in, in eggs and egg products. Look, take for instance, in 2006, 5,867 metric tons of eggs come in the country. In 2011, moved straight from 5 to 12,000 and 13,000 metric tons. You it's tragic that, a, that a, par a, a party that came from the agricultural sector, yeah. you have this drastic, tragic decline. And hear what happened with boiler here now. Hear, hear what happened with the boiler. The same chicken we're talking about, right? In 2006, 3,132. In 2007, 8,266,000. 2008-10,000. 2010-18,000. 2011-21,000. Whoa. So, so when you have that cheap thing, dumb products coming, because your minister said that here. Our minister of agriculture said products that was, that was expired in the shelves of the, of, of the U.S., once it crossed three months, they take it out and put it for pet meat. Uh, and, and you stamp. say that that trend started in 2010, right? It's 2011-12. Right. So what, they, what, what you're saying is that they, they sent a message to the population that they weren't interested in agriculture. Clearly. As a result of that, how did that affect the chicken industry? Because you cannot compete with chicken selling for $3 out there when it costs you $8 to produce a pound of chicken, Mr. Maraj. Because we assemble a chicken in Trinidad, you know, we assemble it. Everything comes from the eggs, everything comes in the country. Mm -hmm. In 1985, we were, we were producing 90% of our eggs in this country, you know, our when, own when? eggs. You know, when? 1985. Mm -hmm. And when that globalization took place, 
the, when the NAR decided to close down CMA and, and meat processors and all of that, that destroyed the sector further. When, when, they, when they remove um, barriers, 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 the barriers to trade. Right. And then when we come now and sign that EPA <laughs> agreement and the, and the WTO, nobody respects the WTO, not even the US, but we respect it down here. Because we, we don't have a choice. No, no, it's not a matter of choice. John does say that. No. I am fortunate. Agriculture is protected all over the world. I know. But all over the world. I know. But foolishly. But the reality is, Sharon, that foolishly in the in third world com- co- countries we tend to, to, to respect those agreements right when the rest of the world don't because, but no no not all third world country you know because here what happening in 2001 i was fortunate to be in jamaica and and when i reached into jamaica i was going to this agriculture conference right on sheep and goat and when i reached in, when we reached here it was a big set of bacchanal with the, the farmers protesting in jamaica and you know what the jamaican government put up a 97 percent tariff on mm-hmm. beef because you know Jamaica took the whole hood and so on, and they big into beef. When I when we had the conference and then I went and talked to the minister on lunch, I asked him if I could sit with him and so on. Mr. Clark, he died now, but mm-hmm. he was there, a big fellow, a red skin guy. He said, Let me tell you something, Mr. Khan. My Jamaican people come first. He said, when I put up this tariff on this, by the time they get to know and they pull me to court, they're gonna take ten years to, to deal with it. And he said, when the appeal comes, it's gonna take a next ten. He said, by that time all of them could go to hell. <laughs> because they, they, you know why? They love the people. They love their people. Right? Yeah. So, 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 so I just wanted to share yeah, this yeah. with you. Right. But, but, but you see what's happening is that when we talk about how the farmers are running and we're we not producing, there's factors because you can't compete with that. America subsidizes a farmer not even to produce yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. because of a quota, a quota system. They, when, when the foot and disease came out, they pay people for not producing. Okay. Right. I, I always remember reading about the, the agriculture minister of India saying, I have a million farmers to deal with. You gave yeah. me talk. Yeah. I don't want to face them. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I suppose and, 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 and that has to do with but attitude. See, and, as and, well. and let me tell you something. Eh? The young people mm-hmm. are with us. Not all young people want to go with the gun. You know? mm-hmm. The young people of this country are very industrious. You know? Check what they're doing with the culture. The calypso. Check how they're everything. We, our young people is willing to work. People who say how they li- Oh, I see some young people in farming who trying and, and they're just coming out of it because the, the, the encouragement is not there. Right? The encouragement. Right? When you, when you as a young farmer who live in an enterprise in a little shack with your parents and so on, and you go to the ministry and say, look, I, I want a farm. I want to do... You, they run here. Well, they well, have no system well, to assist these young people. We train people in the Yapa. You can remember that youth agriculture. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, we train people in, in agriculture in Yapa. What have we done with them? What have we done with the young people? We remove, we remove agriculture sciences from the secondary school. I, I clamor with when, 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 when we had the first budget the, the, um, con, um, consultation with, with, with um, Minister of Finance. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I, <laughs> or you could forget a name like that, but no, I, I remember <laughs> what Gary Griffith say when I ate. As I didn't want to say it earlier. Like, <laughs> Gary Griffith say, you know? <laughs> when they asked him to spell a certain word, he say the name, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I remember that. So I want to make a mis- not to make that mistake because you know, me and Monty go to court again. I in court and they beat him out, you know. So when you have a young fella trained and willing to go and get some money. To, 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 to do agriculture, what, where do we go? Where and do we go? Wasn't that the when, I, when, I, when I met with Mr. Ember after the JTM, answer all of us, he said, I like those two points. You know what are the two points I raised with him, Mr. Maharaj and, and John and Roger? I said, let us start back the agriculture in primary schools. When I raised that in 2002, Sat Maharaj said, hell no! He don't want none of his children going back into, into, into that system. Satmara said that. I have it somewhere home in my bag, in my box. Satmara said he's not going to do that in his school. Because he don't want his children to go back to that. When I raised that with Dave and Mara, he said, don't worry, I'll talk to him. Right. I told Mr. Imber, let us get that agriculture back into the primary school. That was something that made me like because we grew, uh, I grew uh, uh, peas 
Yeah. Red bean. Yeah. All them things. Anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 yeah. And I'll yeah. start with text copy yeah. napkin. Yeah. I grew that. Yeah, in, in primary school. And then we get a yeah. chance because you can't do the whole school. So yeah, every uh, third and fourth. When I was in primary school, we had a garden. A right. A garden. So, so every third and fourth is students because they don't want to take the children in um, um, common entrance in right. those days out of the, the studies to do mm-hmm. the garden. So the third formers, uh, so you get to like it. You used to be waiting on that day to go out in the garden. And here what happened. I told Mr. I told Mr. Ember, I said, let us get that and let us have an agriculture exhibition to create constructive competition so we know where we genetics is, that we can grow from where we is. Up to today, that's not, not happening. Mm-hmm. Up to today. So you see, there's avenues, there's, the there's avenues, things yeah. out there we could mm-hmm. do. Simple thing. What does it take to have an agriculture competition in primary school, man? Come it, people, cheer. Yeah. Tell me, what, what does it take? Is it going to take $2 million? Alright, but let's let's invite callers in. Yeah, the, uh, the, my apologies the, for carrying on. That's all right. That's all right. A lot of it, a lot of interesting, a lot of interesting in, information, and a lot of passion. Yeah. Good passion. Yeah. Six two two three nine three seven. We have with us yes. the <laughs> president <laughs> of the Farmers I Association, agree. Mr. Sharon. Passion Karen. usually turns into production eh? and yeah. different avenues, but uh, you see, because what happens is that when I promote my milk as goat milk better than Viagra, I even have a ram goat. I even have a ram goat green milk now. Hey, 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 hey. I don't want you to talk in the showers outside the corner there. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I do that because how I will live. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good Hello, good morning. Is it really job? Afternoon. 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 Well, um, thanks for everybody for educating and elevating the people. And I'm sure, Scan, you're so genuine and you understand the conspiracy. But one of the saddest things, for elections to come on, election is about the, 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 the treasury and the financiers. Not about you or we. And you are very, very genuine, but Sarah's boys never happen. If they do houses, they do people, and all the hardware sell material, the import, and everything. And as we always tell them, whoever walk with the bag of money, always the winner, whether honest or dishonest, whether have a proper conspiracy or a lying conspiracy. You're real good, you know, but they ain't going to do that. It's the financiers in charge. All right. Call us the money. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. I want to say hello to the panel. Uh, Mr. Charles Khan, uh, thank you so very much for coming and stating the plight of the farmers on on a national big scale. Because what you have said there is absolutely right. I was part of the 85 uh, marches when when we had to. When I say had to, because of IMF and all that good stuff, when the country was down on oil, down on their knees, we went to say, well, okay, we need money. And they say, in order for us to give you money, you have to open up your borders. You have to remove all of those tariffs and you have to remove, break, break down the barriers so we could bring in and flood your country with whatever we want to flood it with. Milk was one of it. And that mash up the dairy farmers. That's one. When you come and you're talking about everything else, it's a matter of $5.4 billion food import bill. Somebody is making that money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you, there's no reason to have the locals producing and giving competition when the third party could come in and just provide everything and they eat the food. Yeah. So it's a matter of a number of things. And when you said health, if nothing else, if nothing else this country could be doing for its citizen is to be just singing that one song, you guys are taking the foreign goods and thinking it's healthy for you, it is unhealthy, it's causing you guys to die. So you guys, you guys are paying cheaply to kill yourself. You're killing yourself by, by eating all of these junk that they take out all the minerals, they take out the proteins, they take out all the substance of the food, and they make it nice and fat, and they add coloring, and they add dyes, and they add fragrance, and all these things to make it smell good, look good, taste good. But in actuality, there's nothing of substance in it. That is a multi-billion, trillion dollar industry yeah, yeah. that the Americans and the United and, and, and EU yeah. have been doing for years, years. And it continues, continues to this day. When you see people falling down on the side of the street and they're going, and, and you know, little kids and adults, everybody with prostate cancer and breast cancer and, 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 and lupus and all these different things taking place. You want to say, but, but wait a while, I, I does exercise, I go into the gym, how come, how come that happens, she looking healthy? Because what they eat, what they put into their system, what they're putting into their body is not good. All it's right. substantial, it's less than anything nutritional. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And just to add 
just to add to that, right? Um, he's so right because I could remember. Sorry, I'm not a customist. <laughs> um, what 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 happened is that. I could remember 25 years ago, I didn't know if it's a marriage from down Cedra Syria. There was oh, a yeah. guy fighting to get a, a processing plant ah, for yes. coconut oil. Yeah. And, and, and they say that too fat in this clog up your arteries. Today, everybody, everybody on coconut yeah. oil. Yeah. Because what happened is that hydrogenated oil. If I, if I had the time, I would have shown you all that is plastic. Right. We need you know, to go back to natural ways of doing things. You know, and, and probably if we look at the money that we spend on, on health. health. But they get the largest chunk. You understand? Seven and, billion and, and we and get five. If we, if we <laughs> use some of that to, to fuel. Use some of that preventative means. Right. Preventative and, 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 and measures. Encourage agriculture. Encourage local input. Encourage us to eat more local stuff. More, the more healthy stuff. You know, it could balance you know that we, we spend the first yeah. half of your life getting sick yeah. and the second half trying to get trying well, to get well. <laughs> by doing the wrong things. Yeah. But six two two three nine three seven. Uh, but Hello. one of the things that's important is that, uh, that the people and them continue. What I want to show you, I want to share with you all, right? If it is that you are spending a, a heaping set of money in terms of health, let us see. I had an article where they said... Right. What if you get there, let's get, take, let's a call. take a call. Yeah. Yeah. Caller? Hello, gentlemen. Hi. 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 Ralph and Roger and Mr. John. Khan. Yeah, and yes, John. John Gill is here too. John, yeah. Hey, John. Yeah. How are you going, brother? Pretty good, pretty good. You know what always amazes me, Shiraz, is the opportunity that we have. Yeah. I love goat milk. Better than Viagra. <laughs> so now we understand why <laughs> Joe <laughs> Viagra, boy. <laughs> 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 maybe, maybe the oh, Joe, Joe buys a lot. Maybe yeah, Shiraz, if you need the goat <laughs> Viagra. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe, you might let it out your fires, boy. <laughs> but, you know, the thing of it is if I have to pay because of the problems with storage, I can't hold a whole set of bottles in my refrigerator. I can't, whether it's in the freezer compartment or otherwise. Uh, unless I get it from the top producers, sometimes you find things like the bottle improperly sanitized. Sometimes you buy stuff and it tastes like sweet drink. Or you look below the cover and you ask yourself whether that's sanitary. If you boil it fast enough, it doesn't matter. You have a question. Sometimes there are people even go so far. It hasn't happened recently, but I remember buying some from a gentleman in El Chicoro that even put some spice in it mm. without asking me. So adulteration. So my point is, a liter of goat milk is $33 in the supermarket. I said it for 30 But that way, however, I could keep it indefinitely until next year, some, sometime in 2018. I think I bought the set I bought yesterday until May. But why can't we get together as farmers? And because if you're talking about having to sell milk for as little as $2 a liter to Nestle, and you could have milk selling, admittedly with a different animal, for $30 a liter, to me that's an opportunity. But the thing, some or the other, the way the goods have to be, have to be similar to some degree as the one that could keep for so much over time and be, be packaged and be sanitary to that degree, and it has to be something universal. The same thing with, with cow's milk. A pack of cow's milk, Nestle, cow's milk, one liter. Um, you say you're getting 250 for it, but it's $10 in the supermarket. Yeah. Um, that is the opportunity, the difference between the 250 and the $10. Let us say eight. And, and, and that, that is milk, that is the same liter of milk that is break down into about 10 parts, huh? So what I'm saying is that where are we in terms of being entrepreneurs? This is not something that we need to wait on. As a business person, if I were younger, and at a different stage of my life, I see an opportunity. And as the, as the Ministry of Agriculture, I see an opportunity, too, to encourage, to have standards, to have labs, to hold courses, to show people how to do things differently. Um, as the Ministry of, of Labor, I see an opportunity to arrange a cooperative, to facilitate the cooperative, to make sure that the cooperative is one where you have people that have equal voice to some degree and good leadership emerges and so on. Because the big issue with local produce mm -hmm. is that issue of being able to hold it over time for it to meet some quality standards. It has been easier for me to buy an apple for two fifty than than sometimes than to buy a mango for five dollars. Uh, highly per per perishable sometimes, and so on. I mean, and not only that, an apple that has been in storage since last year, well, and we haven't done anything about dealing with the issue of finding different uses for mangoes, etc. 
Doctor, uh, 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 so I, I, I think, think the issue, the issue right is the equivalent. All right, okay. Thank you, Joe. Uh, uh, Joe, thank I you. don't think you're right about that because uh, um, beer fruit juices have been doing wonderful thing with mangoes. Yeah. There are some people in in, in Palo Seco and and Lopino. They have turned that whole mango into a whole new delicacy. Uh, 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 turning it around. There's things happening. Most of the farmers who still survive in Carson Field either making dahi, um, you, know, well, you know it's dahi, right? Mm-hmm. Local yogurt, mm-hmm. right? And ghee and all of that. And, and, and what happening is that a number of them have moved out of selling to Nestle in some cases who are being punished for doing that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and, 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 and send it out to um, other supermarkets and to, to get new markets. But Mr. Marjorie raised that point and I, I forget to share that earlier on. Our chemistry food and drug lab that shut down since 2014. Is it because of what was going on with the importation for nobody to check? But the thing about it is still shut down. It's not in operation. Who tests these meat and these products that comes into this country? I mean, they say people of Trinidad and Tobago. I am not lying. It's on the news. It's all over. Why can't we demand? How much money would it take to set up a lab in emergency? Uh, 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 to, to, to save the lives and the health of the people. Mr. Maraj, why it is that we can't since 2014, we're in 2017, and we cannot have a lab in function? How much money does it take? 200 million to have some equipment to monitor that and people train to use the equipment? Why are we people in this country, we want to argue and blame somebody for something, but we're not blaming the authorities that ensuring that our health of the people of this country are safe? Because that is the that is the, the bond between the importation and quarantine and all of them, you know. That 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 testing, right? I say that that lab that lab was closed down when? Twenty fourteen. I yeah, don't know if it's I, that convenience with the all in increasing or the importation. Well it could be. There could be easily a link. Right, but the thing about it is that government change. Personal change. Why can't we get it back up and running? What is causing the Minister of Health? Because that falls under the Minister of Health. You have a seven billion, you got the largest budget this year, the second largest last year. What stops we from getting that? Because our people are getting sick. Because here what happened, I got the article. Diabetes, hypertension, and can- cancer costing TNT 8.7 billion annually. Your, f- your agriculture bill is 0.5 billion. And this is 8.7 billion. These are amazing. I read in the newspaper where they, where they had a conference with the minister. If you have these three diseases, terminal disease, right, costing you 8.7 billion dollars TT, can't you take some out of that and save people getting sick? Well, it seems it, it seems to, to that you, you had to, you could use a lot of goat milk because I have this thing here which says goat milk is alkaline and promotes good health. Well, uh, goat milk goat is ma, not ma, promotes ma, what goat health ma, good health <laughs> Go, goat's mil- goat milk is not mucus forming but, but is there are no known but hormones Mr. look at me now my beard and all like right, the right. goat <laughs> milk here, here, here. goat milk is the closest thing to, to, to milk. breast milk but yes. the thing is there's doctors that send you when they, when they're the pure goat milk has 25 percent more calcium than cow's milk and so on you know but, but the point is we have been reared on the on the on the cow milk thing yeah yeah and, but and goat milk is a is, is a lot quiet taste yeah but you see what happened yeah that quiet is that because i tell you i used to mind goat no no but i used to mind goat when i was a boy right Long in cedars. Wrong practice. Wrong mean? practice. What do you mean wrong practice? You was getting rango taste in it. <laughs> Mr. Marge, I saw you didn't bring some for you. you but but any time, no, no, oh. any time, no, no, whoa. Any time my grandmother gave me goat, the goat, well, after the it goat. goat. Goat, goat, um, yeah. after the goat I have gave a you, number um, Whenever she gave me, and she, she used to tell me, you know, this is the best thing for you to drink. Drink this. I, I found a little difficulty to drink it, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> So is that a quiet taste? No, 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 but the thing is, our, 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 my practice right now... But it has a lot of health benefits. But I tell you, my <laughs> milk, you would not get those tastes. But I will tell you something. If you Google it further down, yeah. they will tell you, do not put heat on goat milk. Heat. To destroy it. Heat. If you Google oh. a little more down, yeah. they will tell you that. So anytime you pasteurize the milk to sell it, you destroy the milk to a percentage. Right. That is why in England... Most of the community farmers sell their, mar- their milk fresh in a niche market industry. Mm. Everybody asks me why I don't put it out on the shelf. All my milk sell at my gate. 
is a niche market. Niche market. So what happened is that if we in every all, community, all, all, uh, fellas, uh, all fellas come come to your Samaritan fountain of youth. Boy, you know why? You know how I came up with this I, with this article that he came up at Goodwill that and Vara. Uh, I had my friend. This was in two thousand. But that's the best advertisement yeah, you could give, right? Well, of course, but it's a real thing, you know. Yeah. This, right? In two thousand, <laughs> we have my friend. Father was seventy five years old. Yeah. He had now married a fifty year old woman. Yeah. And he told me. That how this thing will work real good. Yeah. He said, but I want to turn Muslim to guy next wife. It was working too good. Nobody <laughs> think about it. It's a potent product. Potent product. You can ask your partner, Darian. Hey, hey, hey. With that, Darian, always buy a gate or? Darian buys to me sometimes. He comes by a gate? He don't get. 622392. But the thing about it is that there's avenues. I have, I, I, I have not waited on the Ministry of Agriculture or any government to do what I done. Right? My ram goat that give milk. I have a, a serious... <laughs> ram goat give it milk? Yes, he has his breast. My nephew got licks in school for going and saying that. that you and all I tell you, shall tell she to come and see it. Right? <laughs> the, 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 the animals is not, not like how people think. My milk does not have that rank taste in it because right. of our practices. Right. And, and it's simply, mm. and, and let me tell, uh, 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 to mention to Joe, if, if somebody sells your milk and the bottle is not properly well sterilized, goat milk, not cow milk, it will spoil within hours if it is not properly well sterilized. And my bill on bleach. How many goats you have, Shuaz? Uh, a goat. You already, you already managed to come from now. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> True. <laughs> Caller? Caller? Hello? Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, I am very interested in the agricultural business because I had a son who did the youth right. in agricultural yeah, program. So yes, Gerard Narayan was so the Minister of Agriculture in that time. I just tell you how long. Uh -huh. These youths were promised two acres of land to plant. Uh -huh. And up to today, they never got one in Chalan. It is scary, and as, as, as I said before, right, if somebody go to the Ministry of Agriculture uh, to inquire about how they could get started, the, 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 it, is, it is the most despicable thing to go and talk to these officers about land. Now, but we must back up a little bit, Mr. Maraj. I got my land because in the days when we were looking to do farming, what you do is to go and occupy a piece of land, right? You used to go and squat, and then they'll apply for it. Today, you have to go and apply for it and then go on the land. Remember, you can't squat anything again. So well, no. this is what I'm saying. So, so that's one of the reasons why we have to put things in place. The Ministry of Agriculture, not the government. The Ministry of Agriculture should be allocating areas. And that's where the land use, use policy, policy come in. Yeah. Like Wallafield. Wallafield should be not be used in no form or fashion for ETEC Park or anything like that. There's land in Shogunas behind the wood for lodge in the bag there. We could do anything we want with those land. But keep agricultural land because in an agricultural area, you can assist one another. Yeah, food and security is absolutely important. Uh, and, I, and I think and I think it's critical that we all get together because the problem in the agricultural sector is that we, we are so divided because we are so scattered throughout the country that we have no unity. And that's the problem because if we were a strong group of farmers and yeah. farmers' body, this country would turn over because and all over the world... The people who change social aspects in the country is the farmers. farmers. Eh? And let me tell you something, you know how they change it? Mom. You know how they change it? Because the population supported them. Yeah. The, popula the population of Trinidad and Tobago has to recognize the importance, the critical importance of the farmer, of, of the agricultural sector. Let, let me ask. Uh, and the farmers. And, and I am and asking anybody you. have this problem, feel free to email me. My email is Shiraz, S-H-I-R-A-Z, Farmer Khan. My name, just put farmer in the middle, all common letters, at gmail.com. Feel free to email me, right? And, and, and inbox me a number and so on and we could talk because the, the only way we could build that because look, we have a challenge in Castlefield. And next Saturday we have a big meeting in Castlefield about the challenge we have in for the lands, right? And we, 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 gonna, we have to get together because Mr. Maraj, in this country... When people like myself see it fit to, 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 to I ain't going for no U.S. visa. I ain't going down no Mali Street and line up no two o'clock in the morning. I am not going to do that. But people like myself who enjoy what we do, you know what is you know what joy it is that I um, have a goat, a top class goat, and it make young one, and you get two nice beautiful females. That is what they use in the U.S. to bring people out of the rehab. That is what they use. 
the use planting and agriculture to bring people. Africa and India has worked their way out of poverty through agriculture. And in this country, we're destroying what agriculture we have. We have very, very good farmers down here, you know, Mr. Maraj. Let me ask you this. The farmer's market help you all at all? The farmer's market, that, uh, some of it help. But in the, in the, in the, by the ministry there, we have a lot, of, a lot of purchasers selling in the farmer's market there. Purchasers? People going and buying at the wholesale market and coming and selling oh, there. Oh, okay. And, and that is wrong. And, and you, don't, you don't vex with the minister for that. You don't vex with the, with, with the government for that. That is personal in the Namdevco business. And that is what we have to fix. We have to fix places like Namdevco, right? And Taba, fix back Taba. I went in Taba two years ago. A Taba important hot peppers from Colombia. 24, four by four crates of mash hot peppers come in into our country. We had one of the, we had the best hot pepper in this country. Mm -hmm. And you importing from Colombia into the country, a company like Taba. But let me ask you this. And, 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 and Taba is a government company? Yeah. I'm glad there is that too mm -hmm. because we have uh, companies in Trinidad processing like tomato, ketchup, to processing peppers and, and so forth. It? Shouldn't we... A sh policy. Exactly. A policy, policy that, that so a certain percentage of what they use as a raw material be local? Yes. That is, you see, but who doing that? They're coming back to what Roger was saying. Roger said about the 1%. No, no. Mm -hmm. Right? Roger, you mentioned it. Yeah. Right? And, and Ralph called a capitalist. No, 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 no. A big capitalist. No, 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 no. I was, I was um, just <laughs> using... Um, <laughs> no, no, what... But just an example. I just created a little... I don't know. This is a show-down. Hey, you got to do that. You can only talk hard and rough and don't laugh a little bit. No, no. That is a... No, but you know, before you went back there, Shara, that's all that flashing in my mind. You are not competing against the Ministry of Agriculture, you know. Uh -huh. yeah, it's big they business. They, but they the thing about and it, no, 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 Ministry of Agriculture has a strong level playing field, right? No, no, yes. but they have and to. have some protectionism. You must protect your people. Yeah. They have to do that. It's not, I'm not asking because you can't unfair competition you know, demands protection of your people. Yeah, I suppose. But, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, but, 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 but they are being protected. Happen. You know it's going to happen. Is he one percent being exactly. protected? Exactly. You know exactly because yeah. you know it's going to happen. They if you protected. start protecting the farmer, you know who start making noise. Yeah. The one percent. The, 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 the people who was important. Yeah. 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 But but but, us. but yeah. their finances no, also. No, but Charles, why haven't they with all their money gone into farming? Because they would not do that. Why? Because they could they could buy the whole the whole place. Why won't they do it? No, no, but you have to understand something right mm -hmm. um uh, sorry for, for going back in so much history with no, you no, no. when i was going to primary school in shaguanas right when we when i was going to primary school in shaguanas right where Bag bagwat where the t junction is to go to the market we started to stand up if we if we reach here by the time 20 past three we had to stand up and the hundreds of cow crossed that year it was the devot estate when they used to, so those same people, those same one percent, they were big farmers in those. In they the were Thai, yes. They, they were Thai, Thai. French and, Creole, and, and, and then lands, the Creole, lands, they had real animals all in, and that all of that turned into housing. So they see an avenue where to turn it into housing, make money, make quick money. and now be importers. Quick money, bill malls, and the original and so on, and, and, money was the French Creole. Yeah, you know. that was yeah. The, that was so the no, but what happened? They were the large farmers in the country. You know. uh, uh, yeah, right. The, Remember um, in those days, farming agriculture was the money. Agustini, yeah. both yeah, yeah, in and it was a prestigious and, yeah. profession. That, 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 that was a jacket and tie business. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. and, and, jacket and tie. Right. England, in England and Europe and so on, they respect the farmer. Gentleman farmer is and, not, and the queen and, the, and, 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 and so on are the patrons. When I went to the show in England about 20 years ago, the, 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 the day of prize given, people were in the three piece and tail suit and thing, and the queen was given. How are you? How, how, how are you? Are you, the you, the you, you the yeah. I don't wear that thing at all. <laughs> I'm a farmer. I, I didn't, but I, the farmers there were in the scissors. Yeah, but the thing about it is that they respect the people. And you know what <laughs> happened? The British Agriculture Society, are, they make people senators. They have them on boards and they House have to the Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the thing about it is that, but you see in Trinidad, when, it had, when, 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 we, when we started to talk about agriculture, they don't involve us in the discussion. And that's one of the things I'm disappointed with Dr. Rowley because he put his signature on the Memorandum of Understanding. Right? When he put his signature there, I thought that we would have been involved in most of the discussions of taking agriculture, but he himself is a farmer. He boasts about his ducks and his sheep and God, he purchased animals from me before. Right? He knew, he knew the problem. In fact, when the day we signed the MOU, he was telling me about when he visited one of his friends in Canada, 
that a vet was passing around to find out if he had any problem. Down here, your animal dead and they don't see a vet coming around in your place. So you know the problem. You know what is existing. Why it is that you can't put things in place to satisfy your own self? Because when you retire, I sure you want to mind your animals and so on. Continue to enjoy that serenity and happiness of growing animals. Because we can do it, Mr. Mirage. We have, I was in Canada. I visited a farm with 4,000 cow milking cows. Now, I am boasting about traveling, eh, but I, I, I like to go and see things. And you know, who is the fella who running that farm, boy? A little Indian boy from South, you know? Managing that farm. Computerized milking cows. So, if we could get some of that... The technology... Te yeah, no, we no, not only the technology, but get that um, know-how to come back We to don't China. have to we get that. Day, it day, day, exists. Day. We, we just go and visit it. Every, I video the thing and give us and Barat and Dave and Maraj. Uh, and, and the thing so is, is he uh, saying is the political win? Is the political win? Is, is who? Is, is, is Roger Lee? In the people? competition. <laughs> the competition. Because <laughs> then what happened? Eh? I have a the video home. I have videos <laughs> home. There are little girls in, in, um, in Canada in the exhibition, seven, eight years old. When the cow dro doing his drop in, they're collecting it for another dirty the cows in the, in, 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 in the pen. That is how serious they take it. And people just talk about education and technology. I went on a farm and meet a 19-year-old and a 20-year-old boy, yeah, boy. And they don't even know how to take an email address. They say, hey, talk to my sister. They only deal with the farming. The father hand them down that. Right? And, and this is how we treat with agriculture because it's generation of farmers. In, no, in no. Guava, Ag the agricultural sector in the United States, all of Europe, Europe and Western civilization has been built on agriculture. Mm -hmm. And now Africa, and they are some protecting, of Africa yeah. and India is building on that. Uh, right. And they, 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 they protect so, their agriculture. So, so we have good examples to learn from. All we, we need to do is to have the will to do it. And not, and not the will. The people in this country. Need to support you all. Support they need to support the agricultural again, sector. I am saying, Mr. Maraj, in, in everything is half good and bad. We have some very terrible farmers in this yeah, country. Yeah, I'm sure. We could weed them we out too. Very yeah, and it's easy to, to weed them out. You know, people who didn't have crops and claiming, claiming compensation. Putting problem on the system but that the genuine farmer can't get compensation. It's a man who, it's a man who blocking water course and, and But look and right now, around with South, uh, uh, the flood gone so long. The, the person who in charge from Ministry of Works to open this loose gate in Arangwe South to run out the water. Right now, we still have flood in Arangwe South that farmers can't even go on their land. And what happened is that because of the harsh rainy season, they, they start preparing their land. So just before the rainy season come into play, they start planting on their crops so they got some moisture to, mm -hmm. to grow into the dry season. And these people close down the gate and not going to go to work for days and have people suffering in Arangwe South. When you not call, going to work for days? Yeah, they because they're not going to manage the gate. Yeah. And this is the problem in the country. The problem is not people to work in or, or people with the ability. It's is to the get them to... to is on, the people on, who have the work to do sometimes not doing the work? Honestly, do their work. Uh, if you bring up that, what about retention ponds um, so on and Mr. so on? Mr. are we talking about years Yeah, but, but how, how could agriculture no, no, go in the dry season but here's without something, retention ponds? Hear how, hear how funny and funny our agriculture ministry is, right? I have a good friend in Carson Field who's a second generation farmer, one of the best farmer. Dog his pond about 35 years ago. You know what the ministry tell him the other day? Faith the guy at least he had to full up the pond. La ilaha illallah. That is what we face in this country. <laughs> I am saying, I, I, I have the light like that. I could hold my Quran and I could swear. That is what they tell this young fella. 40 years old. Family run business. Making the he. Selling milk. And they tell him for him to get his lease. He yeah, have yeah. to full that pond. And that will take over a thousand loads. That, do that was done in the time when Dr. Allen, the permanent secretary, tell our farmer. Wait, 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 wait. When you say full the pond, you because mean... Because the pond is illegal, he's saying. <laughs> yeah, the pond... And the pond has been put to collect water yeah. to, to, to serve the farmer because and right the dry Right now we pump some there to wash his pig pens. Mm -hmm. And, and pond. irrigate. And, 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 and I this think is we have to take that up. This is what the Ministry of Agriculture tell the farmer, Mr. Maraj, John and Roger. This is what we face with, Mr. Maraj. Right? There's a farmer. We met with the minister, the permanent secretary in, in, in 2013. The permanent secretary tell them they had almost 50 cows. They had to sell out their cows because they had to sell out their cows because they, they were, it was not final based on what I'm showing you here. You know what happened? That, that, they tell that guy he had to get back cows and he might have 500 purple tree, two, 200 coconut tree, dashing bush by the half acre. And, and, veg, and pumpkin and so on, and tell him he had to go back to plant mining cow. That is how absurd. And this takes place in the last month, eh? This place, this took place right, in the last month. What kind of recourse 
Does that farmer who was who is told to fill the pond and this other farmer? He came to me and that is what we got. You can't go to the minister. Does he uh, does he I, I, does the I, minister I know? The minister. I messaged mm -hmm. him, I told him that and he's working on it. Mm -hmm. But this is people. But no, you must keep us informed about that. But, 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 Mr. It, but that shouldn't it, happen in the first place. I'm Shiraz. happy to come here, yeah. but sometimes this costs me. But Shiraz, yeah. I'm not being paid by nobody to do this. Yeah, yeah. but Shiraz, right? what you're talking about again is public servants frustrating the system. system. But the thing, this is what I tell you, but these people. But they have no recourse. Yeah, but Mr. Maraj, these people have been in the service there. They work from since um, Kamal Mohammed was Minister of <laughs> Agriculture. He worked on all of them. And he said and he had a solution. Yeah. Right? Anyhow, so, so the next the time we will, we, will, we will pay for your passage to come here and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I got some. I got uh, some biography. Uh, right. yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 mean, I will know. call you, or we will call you by phone because <laughs> we need. No, no, no. We need to go by the gate. Go by the gate. I think the interaction <laughs> is good, and and it could only go well for the people of the country, not the farmers alone, Mr. Maraj. Farmers alone not, mustn't benefit from what we're doing. Our people is more critical. <laughs> exactly. Our, our citizens, our children, right? Yeah. Our